Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Compline here at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. Our Compline service this evening is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, which you can get on your phone, tablet, or computer and follow along with us. You can also follow along using the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this evening. As always, we ask you to leave us some kind of a comment or reaction so that we know that you're here praying with us so that we can pray for and with you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 134. Psalm 134. We're going to say this together. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our word this evening comes from the first uh, letter of Peter. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. Please join me now for the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snare of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep. And grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Gracious God, I lift up to you this day St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, giving you thanksgiving for all of the people here and all of the blessings you have bestowed upon us beseeching you to guide, guard, and protect us as we continue to do your ministry in this place. I lift up to you all of those on St. Mary's prayer list, those preparing for and recovering surgeries, those who in urgent need this day, and those with ongoing need. 
Gracious God, we also lift up to you and repose the soul of Pat Carver. May you welcome her into your heavenly kingdoms and into your loving arms. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. And gracious God, this day I pray for Sharon, for Casey and Crawford, for Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike, for David and John, for Lauren and Alexa. I pray for Enid and for Jan. Gracious God, I lift up to you Bob and Dee and Adam, Haley, Morgan and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie, and Ryan. Are there others to be named? Let us now say together the Song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our prayer for service of Compline. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services at 745 and 10 o'clock right here at St. Mary's in Dade City. Our 10 o'clock service on Sunday is streamed live right here on our Facebook page. My brothers and sisters, I beseech you to continue to show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to those you love. Make sure they're doing okay. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you a good night. May God bless you this night and always.